A Hall of Fame is a place that honors people that are exceptional at what they do. It exists to remind future generations of the greatness of these people from the past. Did you know that God has a Hall of Fame to remember the extraordinary people of faith who were written about in the Old Testament? And we can find that Hall of Fame in the New Testament of the Bible. Hebrews 11 tells us that faith is the confidence that what we hope for will actually happen. It gives us assurance about things we cannot see. This faith is what gave people in the old days great fame. This faith is what puts them in God's Hall of Fame. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Hebrews 11. Abel! So this is Abel. Abel is in the Hall of Fame because he was famous for his faith and he gave his best to God. When it was time for the harvest, Cain and Abel wanted to show their love and thanks to God, so they brought him an offering. Abel gave the strongest and fattest sheep he had. God was very happy with Abel. God said that Abel was righteous because he brought him the very best that he had to give. Hebrews 11 Enoch So this is Enoch. Enoch is in the Hall of Fame because he pleased God. Enoch was the great, 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 great grandson of Adam and Eve. Enoch was the father of Methuselah and many other sons and daughters. You see, Enoch lived as a good friend with God for his whole life. Enoch lived for 365 years, walking in close fellowship with God. Then one day he disappeared. It was by faith that Enoch was taken up to heaven without dying because he pleased God. Hall of Fame, Hebrews 11. Noah! This is Noah. Noah is in the Hall of Fame because he trusted God. God told Noah to build an ark for his family and the animals to live on during the flood. When the ark was ready, God told Noah to load everyone into the large boat. They entered in pairs, each with another of its kind. After seven days, it started to rain. The underground waters erupted from the earth, and the rain fell in mighty torrents from the sky. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights, and then this time, it did not return. This made Noah think the dove found dry land where it could rest. Noah lifted the covering of the boat and saw that the surface of the ground was dry. Noah trusted in God's plan, and God protected his family during the flood. Abraham This is Abraham. When Abraham was younger, he was known as Abram. Oh. Abram lived in a place called Haran. One day, God told Abram, Leave your home with your family and go to a place that I will show you. Ah. So Abram traveled with his wife Sarai, their nephew Lot, and the rest of their family. Then one day, God said to Abram, Look up. All the land you see will be blessed. I will give it to you and your family forever. Abram received the promise and the blessing because he was faithful. Full Hall of Fame, Sarah. This is Sarah. Sarah was Abraham's wife. One day, as Abraham sat near the entrance of his tent, God appeared to him. Abraham looked up and three men stood before him. God promised Abraham that he and Sarah would someday have a son. Ah. In fact, God promised Abraham that he would have many children. Oh. Even more than the stars in the sky. Uh. Now Sarah was very old when God made this promise. When she heard that God promised to give her a child, she laughed. The messenger of God stopped Sarah. He asked, is anything too hard for the Lord? Sarah chose to trust God, and she became pregnant, and she gave birth to a son. The son's name was Isaac.
God's promises came true for Abraham and Sarah. Abraham became the father of many nations, and from his child came children, and from their children, more children, until Abraham's descendants were truly more numerous than the stars in the sky. Abraham and Sarah trusted God for the promise and believed that God was faithful. Hall of Fame, Joseph. This is Joseph, hey. who was the son of Israel and Rachel. Ah. Joseph was the most loved of all his brothers, so his brothers hated him. Ah. After being sold into slavery and put in jail, Joseph found favor with the Pharaoh and ruled over all of Egypt. He helped Egypt thrive during seven years of abundance, and then he was prepared for seven years of famine because God had helped Joseph to understand the Pharaoh's dreams about what would happen to Egypt. Now, dear full Hall of Fame, Moses. This is Moses, who was an Israelite boy born in a time when Israelite boys were not supposed to live. By faith, Moses' parents hid him for three months after he was born because they saw he was no ordinary child and they were not afraid of Pharaoh's. By faith, Moses refused to be known as the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He chose to share in the pain of his people rather than enjoy the fleeting pleasures of sin, for he was looking ahead to his great reward. One day, God spoke to Moses through a burning bush and called him back to Egypt to fulfill his plan. But Moart, Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt and towards the promised land. It was by faith that Moses left the land of Egypt not fearing Pharaoh's anger. He kept right on going because he kept his eyes on the one who is invisible. It was by faith that the people of Israel went through the Red Sea as though they were on dry ground. Faithful Hall of Fame, Rahab. This is Rahab. Hi. Rahab lived in the town of Jericho in the Promised Land. Rahab was not an Israelite and she made bad choices. Huh? But God had a plan for Rahab, even though she was a sinner. Ah, all right. Now God told his people, the Israelites, hey, that's her. to go into the Promised Land. So Joshua sent two spies to search the land around the city of Jericho. The two spies came to Rahab's house to stay the night. The king of Jericho heard that there were spies in his city, so he sent orders for Rahab to bring them out. But Rahab hid the spies and told the king's men that it was true that the men were at her house, but she did not know where they were now. She told the king's men to go quickly to find the spies because they could not have gone far. Go now. Oh, right. So the king's men rushed out to the city in pursuit of the Israelite spies. All the while, the Israelites hid on Rahab's roof. So Rahab went to them and said, I know the Lord has given you this land. We have heard of the great acts that God has done for you. Your God is the God of all the heavens and the earth. So please swear to me that you will be kind to my family. The spies agreed to this, and Rahab helped them escape from the city. 
Before they left, they told Rahab to tie a scarlet rope to the window. Yeah! Whoa! Oops! This rope would serve as a mark for Rahab's house and would remind the Israelites of their promise to her. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Finally, they returned to Joshua and told them all they had seen. Rahab was remembered for her faithfulness. The Hall of Fame, Joshua. This is Joshua. Oh, hey. Joshua was the leader of the Israelites, who God used to bring his people to the promised land. Yeah, let's do it. When God told Joshua it was time to take the promised land, Joshua sent spies into the city of Jericho. Now the Israelites had crossed the Jordan and were camped near the town of Jericho. Hey, hello. One day, Joshua looked up. Uh huh? and there was a man standing before him. Hello. The man said, I am the commander of the army of the Lord. Joshua asked what the man wanted to tell him, and the Lord said he wanted Joshua to take the city of Jericho, All right. but that Joshua needed to follow his instructions exactly. You got it. Jericho was shut for fear of the Israelites. Yeah, went home? No one came out and no one came in. So the Lord told Joshua to gather his soldiers. And march around the city for six days. The priests were to take the Ark of the Covenant and seven priests were to go in front of it, blowing a ram's horn. On the seventh day, they were to march around the city seven times and blow the horn. Then all the people of Israel were to give a great shout. Then what? And then the city walls would fall. Wow! Yeah, let's do it! So Joshua said, Shout for the Lord has given you the city. And the people did shout. Yeah! and the walls did fall. Go! The Israelites overtook the city of Jericho as God had commanded. Rahab. They remembered Rahab because of her faithfulness. Joshua was faithful in carrying out God's commands, and the Israelites took many other cities as God told them they would. Oh, nice. For God will never fail to fulfill his promises. So the Israelites came to live in the land that God had promised Abraham, Isaac, Israel, Joseph, and Moses many years ago.